Hi, welcome to Maker's Workshop. Hi. There's supposed to be a table and a goldfish and snacks. Like most of the country, at the end of the year here, we've needed to do homeschooling, and we've added some pieces to supplement the curriculum from our school, and today we're going to combine shop class with home economics and make... A tortilla press. What? <laughs> okay, now stop talking, everybody. I picked out a chunk of walnut to make up the bulk of the press. Obviously, this could be done with any hardwood, but I was feeling like getting fancy with it. She marked where to cut the board into two identical pieces. And then trimmed one of them to be about three inches shorter than the other. over here, right, mm -hmm. to allow for you to be able to put pressure on it to smush it out even, right? Yes. So, what do you think your next step is? To make the mechanism? So, let's do that. Okay. After that, she took the scrap that was cut off from the one side and cut that lengthwise in half. By doing this, the frame for the pressing mechanism fits perfectly onto the ledge that was created with the first cut. I then cut a thin piece of quarter inch thick cherry. This will be used to add some thickness to the spot the handle is going to press against. Then I sketched a line down the center of the larger of the two walnut boards and my dad told me to find and take down the exact thickness of the walnut. Okay, so what are we doing? Well, what do we need to cut? Making a notch. Make Where? A notch. Mm. Otherwise it won't slide in, right? There you go. Yeah, okay. All right. Cool. Using the center line I drew, I sketched out where I was going to cut two notches. The notches are the thickness of the walnut by half the thickness of the long skinny pieces. I slipped them into place and then traced where I needed to cut the next notch. and it slipped perfectly together. I sanded everything to get it ready to be glued together with wood glue. I clamped it up to dry every night, and then I also glued on the cherry bumper piece to dry as well. The next day I took off the clamps and sanded off the extra glue with a sanding sponge and a random orbital sander. I made some wood putty by mixing wood glue with some of the walnut sawdust. I squished it into any gaps. This also needed to dry overnight and then be sanded off.
To add a nice looking edge, I took Sarah over to the router table and helped her get a bevel on three sides of the top press piece. Next, I had Sarah sketch out a shape for the handle. It needed to be wide enough on one end to press down nicely onto the cherry. It'll make more sense in a minute. Then I cut out my shape on the bandsaw. This was probably the trickiest part of the whole build for me because it was hard to use the bandsaw blade to get the exact curved shape I wanted, so my dad helped a little. Then I sanded it down to round out the final shape. giving everything one last 220 grit sand, I oiled it with mineral oil and somehow forgot to film the best part. But it's okay. Point is, it looks nice. The last thing to do was put it together with hardware. We placed an envelope between the two plates to mimic the desired tortilla thickness, and Sarah sketched where to put holes for the hinges. Then I put in pilot holes to make it possible to hand screw into place. We did actually end up replacing these two small hinges with a big piano hinge. It ended up working much better, so I would advise anyone recreating this to do the same. Off camera, we drilled a big hole into the handle and the pieces that hold the handle. I used a big screw, adding a washer to it, and threaded it in. On the other side, I added another washer and a wing nut so I could adjust the tension easily. My dad added some rubber feet to the bottom to keep it from sliding. And then, it was done! Pick it up and walk away. Just bolt for this tree. Just go for it. <laughs> Now for the home ec portion of this, we needed to make some homemade flour tortillas. I will link the recipe that we used in the video description. It was really simple and delicious. We had a really great family night putting the press to work. And did you learn anything? I learned how to make a tortilla press. I'm Michael, this is Maker's Workshop, and if you found this video helpful, don't forget to click subscribe.